Let's see what you guys think of who will win this match as a uh, still pretty good record, pretty good track record oh, here. Oh, damn. So not looking good for Chaos. Now, I'll remind you, ladies and gentlemen, that these community polls are up right before every single one of the matchups. So if you'd like to vote on them and be part of this whole interaction process, make sure you go on twitter.com forward slash ESL Rainbow 6. Throw that aside, we're going to go to Consulate. And in my opinion, there could not have been a better map for these two to play. And I'll remind you that next week, Secret will play G2, or tomorrow, basically, the next play day, Secret will play G2, and Mocket will play Chaos, which is going to be very interesting. But for now, we really have to see how Chaos changes or not throughout this, because they kind of struggled in the previous season. Interesting first ban coming out, too, on Maverick. I wouldn't say he's a, a super essential operator <laughs> for a lot of strategies on this map, so... Just don't want to deal with it for whatever reason. Blackbeard, though, a Makes pretty sense. conventional ban. On now, consulate. might be expecting a um, a clash to be banned in here. Of course, clash is not as strong as before. Uh, this is Team Secret side to ban Chaos have been pretty successful on her, but not too much. There we go. Valkyrie makes a lot of sense. Yeah, another another good ban for this map. A little bit less you have to deal with when you're trying to get inside the building. Please, no mirror. So Maestro or Echo. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I was going to say Maestro, but no. Pulse. Pulse. All right, there you go. Love it. Now, pulses play a lot downstairs in the server area. You know, they can detect anybody moving up to admin, especially if you're playing upstairs, um, you know, in, in the consulate chambers. A admin take is the 101 of how you want to do it if you don't want to get too technical. So it makes a lot of sense to ban the pulse. But this leaves Echo and Maestro available, and there you go, renewals on the Alibi, and they're going for Cafeteria Garage. I'm not sure if they're going to six-pick anything. Very likely to get at least one six-pick, but if they're feeling confident in this lineup... Mira? No ban. Oh, we'll get the bandit. They were just going to fake, uh, we don't have a bandit for the garage door. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> but, hey, there's the Thatcher, so easy peasy. Yep, there's uh, Habana available, so... Attack Probably what you're going to see is two x Cyrus used with an extra one to have line of sight into the garage itself, just to watch for any rotations. Now, obviously, not running the Mira in here kind of limits the amount of information you can gather, especially adding on top of that the fact that Valkyrie is an abandoned operator here. So, no Maestro, no Valkyrie, no Mira, no Echo. It is very weird that Chaos are not running any of these operators, especially in a time where we harp on and on and on about the fact that information gathering on defense is so important and it tends to compound the advantage that defense will have on most sites. You would think of Maestro or an Echo though, for sure, just because yeah. both of those can see, or I mean, in some ways see through the smoke. I mean, the, the Yokai doesn't see directly through the smoke, but you can put it in positions kind of above the area where they go to plant and get an idea when they're going to go to plant in there, or the evil eye that we typically see kind of to the side of the, the white van where you can then see through the smoke when they're going for a plant as well. And it's like, both those are so valuable in stopping the plant. It does seem odd to not go with either of those. Hmm. Now the pulse was banned by Chaos here, so there won't be any pulse that's playing downstairs by the server side to detect any players that are coming up top in the admin area. Secret very good here at conserving drones to not lose them. Just need a peek and that's it. A lot of teams, some players, what they'll do is just rush their drones into their opponents and kind of just lose them, even though they got the information that they wanted out of this uh, little bit of machine. Oh, damage done, there you go. Kill number one for Crips as LMs will go down. Even with the information being relayed in, it's not enough to help out Secret in their initial entry. And Crips again, he'll find the second one from the yellow stairs and still has a position, another one to look through. Contest from the bathroom. Meepy will find one, but Secretly is ready again on the spiral staircase. And he will fall back. Meepy and Stizzy, last two alive. This is definitely not a good start for them. I mean, yeah, they still have a, a soft and a hard breacher left, but at this point, it's not going to do them a ton of good unless they can start to fight the frags. And then a missed throw by Meepy. Well, maybe this is like the end match where they just need this first round to warm up because they seem a little bit shaky on this attack. That was very well played here. And of course, you'll see Meepy has stepped on a goo mine. So the Lesion, even though he's dead in the Red Groove, will give some information as to where his opponents are coming from. Of course, the bathroom now being opened up. They're firing through just in case there's somebody inside of it. Not going to be the case. And it seems like. You know, Chaos, they found the advantage, and what they did is very smart. Let's all fall back. It's 4v2. 
There's no reason for us to get too aggressive against no. the opponents. I mean, with five people downstairs, good luck pushing against that without anything really open. They didn't get the garage open or anything to set up to make this attack more doable by the screw. You jammers as well. Yeah. God. Not going to help, especially when there's so few people left to be able to throw drones at this point. So they're going to go for hatch drop. There you go. This, uh, what, what some teams will do is a drop of both players on the side of the hatch. But here, they're just going to set up. There you go. It's only the Ash will be here. But the consequence, a lot of damage done to Meepy. He was spotted on the side, and both kills will go as secretly he finds the 3k in the round. The very first one here, the Mute SMG-11, definitely something to watch out for. Even though the SMG-11 is not as good as it was in the past, it still is a powerhouse, especially in the right hands. What a strong start for Chaos. I don't think they lost anyone that round what? either. Yep, At least one. Red Groove. That's, That's true, it. yeah. That was just such a good round for them, though. And the fact that they pulled back what they did rather than continuing to push their advantage upstairs is, is good to see that they were being a bit more disciplined about it, not trying to over-push their advantage and just securing the round, which is exactly what you need to be doing. We'll see if they can pull it off, though, on this defense. Now, uh, I, I got to say that some of that could have just been some shots not landing, but... It was just the fact that he was able to, the castle was able to play from the top of the yellow stairs as effectively as he was. Just makes me think they just weren't as coordinated in their droning to be able to get some kind of positional advantage on him rather than just engaging him the way they were. I mean, he had the hole as well in the wall that he was using to be able to fire through the bathroom door. It just seemed like he was a lot more in control here. Now they're, they're gonna still need to take that top floor. You pretty much need to take it really for any of the bomb sites you're gonna attack on this map. But now they're gonna have to take it to be able to attack from above. But it means Chaos are also going to potentially have more people upstairs than they did last round to be able to fight that off. And they are also going to have the Maestro this round, as well as the Echo. So both of those coming out here. We, we were talking about how they had no Intel around, and now they're going to have both Intel operators this round. Rather than have a uh, camera outside, they're just going to put this one on the sill. Nice placement there by Vidalin. We'll see how he does in this round, as he didn't get too much of a chance to make an impact last round may make a little bit more of one this round, depending on how things go on the attack. Leon playing his infamous Buck play, as well as Lucky, always a good uh, Zofia player. I think I'd like to correct myself on from the previous match, actually, with ends. Um, currently, Gomfi is the IGL for the squad, not Wilkie, as we're used to, which... Uh, Seemed to work. It does explain why he was playing so flexibly. So there you go, just to get it out of the way. I'll have to excuse me on the inaccuracy, but as we're used to here, we correct the mistakes that we have to make everything better for everyone. There you go. So, Leon Gids here on the buck, a pretty highlight operator for him, to say the least. Uh, Oregon being a map where he really does shine on this op, um, but the Canadian op will not do much early on, as secretly is still downstairs. Miki will pick up his drones. This attack is going towards the lobby, and of course, for lobby, you do still need to take control of the top floor. Now, problem is, if you're not really, ha if you don't really have control of important positions in here, then your Habana is not going to be able to do much. And of course, you already heard that the x have been shot down in right on the wall here to, to enter into the projector room. But I'm not sure if they're able to open it up here completely. Yes, they have been. So there you go. Secretly was not able to help out as he ran back in. Of course, playing the smoke in this situation. Wow. What a nasty shot from Renewals to find Stizzy, and that's the fuser on the floor. Information relayed back into the players of Chaos. As seems like they have completely changed as a squad on the way they played from Season 8. It's pretty dumbfounding, I have to say. They're absolutely taking Attack advantage of those ACOGs. That was two here. kills from the Maestro down that long desk. It's just, it's working out very, very well from him. And they don't seem to have any kind of flank or anything going on. They're pushing this very one directionally and it's absolutely not working out for them. They're not playing that long angle ACOG fight nearly as well as Renewal seems to be able to. Not to mention he's got backup from Crips. And of course, Red Groove as well. Crips there with another kill, but Red Groove off the board means, again, still on those, I was going to say the Maestro and the Doc, but Maestro being gone. They're just going to take their lumps and go back down to site. A beautiful play there from Leon just to clear out the top floor, but you know what? That Echo is going to cause a ton of problems in the near future. There's not much time left for Leon and Lackey to push in, and someone has to drop. Now you see the feet, but those are not the ones you're looking for, Crips. And of course, the Maestro had uh, kind of had a bit of a slip here. 
He will hear the side of the wall being opened up, but he's still watching through. Vitaline will find one. He'll go for the second, but Lackey will win it out. Low on health on Zofia as everybody turns their way, and Crips will find the headshot. Lackey goes down from the bathroom with Zofia, and that's what Chaos needed. Two rounds efficiently won here by the Swedish lineup. I, I feel like overall, it just Secret needs to be able to do a better job of trapping a lot of these players. They're continually pushing from one side of the map and then losing those fights. Mm -hmm. Every single time they're pushing from the admin side, they're getting picked off by people at the top of the yellow stairs, people under the desk, people just fighting down the, the long desk itself. It's just, they need someone on the window. They need someone like the, the way that we saw, for example, Retro playing that window um, previously, even without the Blackbeard. They need something like that to provide some kind of flank because the ability of Chaos to just sit there and only have to fight one angle with multiple ACOGs is absolutely working, even without the ACOGs we saw with the castle. But that's the thing. They did have someone doing that. They had I Leon doing it, and then and there's just no follow-up. You, yeah. you saw the, the not the Haban, but the, the Thatcher peek in from the, uh, the center hallway by the big desk, and just was instantly shot down by the Maestro, because yeah. there's nobody really dealing with the Maestro in the back. That's, that's the thing, is it's, just, it's just lack of pressure. Maybe they need to take control of yellow stairs even at this point. All right, this is the thing I want to see. Now, which sites are we on, Dem? Can you please remind me of this yes. new site in the game? The good old Visa site here in the Visa office and archives. You mean the good new? The good site. new. Yeah. There you go. It's old so, enough now. Exactly. So, what do we have? Renewals is playing Alamo. Now, Mira's available, but she's not in play. Same for the Maestro. The Echo is available, but Reynolds has Prismas. And you see where he's setting up his Prisma. They're all set in a way where you cannot shoot the bottom of them without going to the side and taking them out. Why? Because there's stuff in and around them and yeah. in front of them, which means shooting them is much more complicated. It's like with the cap can traps. You set them up on the side so that you have to expose yourself to be able to take them out. Same with the bulletproof cameras as well. Same kind of logic that... Uh, that shows smart play in the operation. And that's the thing. It makes it so much more difficult. And the instant you fire, even in just randomly through them, one shot is going to be more than enough for you to be spotted. And it has psychological effects on your team. Not only that, but also revealing your position, just like a jackal track. Would be. And unfortunately, Thatcher EMPs will not destroy them, just temporarily right, disable them. Indeed. So there you go. That is the power of the alibi in a way where she can help in and around a site as what an anchor would do but still be flexible enough to move. It's, in my opinion, a side grade to Legion. Yeah, which is not in play this round. Indeed. So we'll see how it works out, though. The uh, the Mute Jammers as well definitely could help try and block the uh, drones themselves from spotting those holograms early. But Alem's going to take down the Alibi itself, so it's down to the uh, the leftover decoys to try and do some work for him. Yeah, Although, uh, he, he did take quite a bit of damage in that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Secretly will finish him off, but the smoke took too much fire in that and might be able to reset him in the meantime. I heard Xkyrus going off. Not too sure where Stizzy used them. Well, so Just far... Patch. Mm -hmm. Potentially. Looks like... Uh, Leon's still out here on the drones as well. They're doing a good job at least checking where players are at this point, which... Is Something I just didn't feel like they were doing a good enough job of previously in terms of identifying where a lot of the uh, positioning was of the uh, defenders on Chaos. So hopefully this round goes a little bit better for them, especially since Secret Lee is very low on health and Renewal's being dead. They have the potential to do something here. I mean, yeah, they lost Thatcher, but it's not the most critical operator in this attack. It's still a bit of a problematic position because this site, you know, you look at it from the outside and it's like, oh, I just walk in and plant, right? That's really not how it works. Um, We'll see it later probably on Secret if they do go for the site, but the amount of preset holds to fight this from above or below are so prevalent. It's just very difficult to find things correctly for the attacking site. Now, Stissy will find one on Crips. Very good here to eliminate the castle and a plant right on top of the filing cabinet where the yokai is watching it. So Red Groove is waiting for information to peek in. He'll fire in the side and there you go, deny it, Stizzy. And Meepy will both go down. So little time left, even with the sights being so close. 2v2 as Leon will find one, but there's so little time. Diffuser's on the floor. Vitaline will find it. There's still a yokai available. He'll go up to it. And the instant they go for it, it should be able to clean it up. There you go. That's the end of the round, and the defenders will take it. The Echo not fought as he can rotate in from below. He can stay back. He still has Red Groove to protect him. Overall, this site is actually a lot more viable than 
what it looks like on the surface. And yeah. I, I cannot I cannot stress that enough. The more you see teams like Chaos, Secret, before Millennium, but also this team hopefully in the future, you get to understand that, and even G2, you get to see that this site is actually much more flexible than anyone would just looking at it will realize. Yeah, and we were talking about that uh, the other day, about part of the reason why, too, is that when you go and try and plant in there, it's, it's hard to cover all of the angles yes. without a lot of players left alive. And even from below, I mean, an ECC4 can deny you. The, yep. the only the only viable place Defenders to really to your plant is on top of the filing Jack. cabinet. That yeah. exactly what was tr what Team Secrets were trying to do, but still, Yokai available, that's the perfect moment to have him. And in this round, not going to be available. Yep. Well, we'll see how this garage attack goes. Now, last time they lost a lot of people upstairs, and then that just kind of made for a desperate push. They weren't able to get the garage open or anything else like that. So this is going to be a case where if they're a little bit more coordinated on this, they don't get picked off early on the top floor. They're able to actually take some top floor control and work their way down. I feel like this could go better for Secret, but at this point, I got to wonder uh, what their yeah, mentality is like in terms of just things not working out for them very repeatedly. Chaos just Five seemed to kind of walk all over them, taking out I'd say a good chunk, maybe three other players, most of the time, somewhat early on. Seemed to work out very, very well for them. Just good coordination, and uh, I got I to wonder, too, if, if Chaos did a good job at really reviewing the VODs that were available of Secret playing on this map and just counter a lot that's, of what Secret do. That's the job of Crips as well. I mean, we highlighted every single time, but the work of the coaches is very important. Um, Chaos, Siren, uh, excuse me, I said Crypt, but Siren is uh, the man on the squad actually that, that does that analyst and coach role. And uh, you know, today it's been working out very well, secretly peeking in, but he's going to be detected for just a second, falls back in the balcony. Oh. And unfortunately, man just actually escaped Leon as well, which is not so great. <laughs> Who is not so great? Yeah. No, he is. He's a great, he's a great. I miss Leon. Well, Leon, unfortunately, doing a lot of missing of his own, yeah, as yeah. it seems. I miss you, too. <laughs> All right, well, Rips is still in the bathroom. He'll move back to the position that we saw him play not too long ago, actually, three rounds ago. And just holding on to the back of the yellow stairs, Meepy. Looking down at Spiral Circus, just in case somebody would like to peek through there. Alems will already move in. He's running the Vitality stand here on his Thatcher. Crips will fire in. Red Groove will go down yet again copy paste of what we saw before but yeah. Crips is unable to get the second kill as you already hear the Habana firing through the buck destroying as much as possible. They need to put some kind of pressure on yellow stairs when they're attacking the site because just letting Crips get away with that yet again. Yeah he didn't get two kills out of it this time but he got a kill and got away with his life for a reset back up to 50 HP. This is just, it is not working out on these attacks. I got to i gotta hope the Secret can bring it back a little bit more so when they end up on the defense side because this is just it's repeats after repeats of them not being able to establish top floor control, and this is not Stay a map back. where that's excusable. And this is the, the thing to highlight. This is not a defense in the lobby. No. This is a defense all the way down, and oh, the finisher, can he do it? Oh, the <laughs> shot cut to the face! No! Lackey low on health. Renewals will find one kill, but Leon and Lackey. Leon is at least down. He should get picked up in just a second as Lackey is still watching for potential pushes. If only there... I'm not... Is there a C4? Please tell me there is. Oh, yes. He's right. Oh, yes. Give it. Yes. Just go. Call. Press it. Rent uh, and drop. No, no. Oh, my God. Oh. Too late. Unfortunate. That's again, they don't have those intel ops. They're not bringing the maestro or the echo. Why do you do this to my heart? Why? Why? Either way, though, this is still working out okay for Chaos, but that right there is going to change things quite a bit. Yeah, 10 seconds on the clock. There's still been a uh, hole opened up in the garage. This is, he'll try to rush in. Vitaline watching through. He'll have to peek through the smoke as he gets the kill on Lackey. Fire in from Stizzy, but there's no time. And there you go. The round will go the way yet again of Chaos on the defense. Absolutely reveling in the chaos caused by their own hands. Who defends all the way up top with that much manpower? Chaos does. This is such a different way of playing than what we saw Chaos in the past. The only time we saw him dominating this much is dominating, there is, is when they played Oregon against Vitality. Yeah. And that was it. And yet here they are against Team Secret, arguably in the top three best teams in Europe. Yeah. 
it just it seems like we're just seeing a huge lack of adapt uh, adaptability coming out from Secret. Yeah, yeah, that's lacky. I'm, it's a, it's a big difference. It's it's definitely Defend something that I would be expecting a lot more from this team. Oh yeah, yeah, chaos. Is, wow, I have to say, like for a lot of people that remember the past couple seasons, just you know, chaos were not really present. I I, I want to say like. You know, they, they yeah. tried, but they never really could break through. And yet here they are against a tough opponent. And they're just manhandling Secret. Well, they just keep, keep seeming to be able to take some early kills and then just back off and then play man advantage after that. And that's, I mean, that's a, a disciplined way of playing that I wouldn't have expected from them. I mean, they, they had lived up a bit more, as you were pointing out to their name earlier. And they've definitely seemed to reform quite a bit, and it's absolutely working. Now, when they're on the attack side, they might not be able to pull that off nearly as well. So it is definitely the case where we could see things turn around quite a bit once Secret's on defense. But the question is, how much of the back foot will Secret be on at that point? Now, they did create all of that chaos. Yeah. You know, just getting the frags early on, as you said. You just able, able to outplay Secret in pretty much every single situation. Uh, it is weird to say just by looking at how Chaos performed in the previous season. It, but the thing is, is, they're just doing it pretty much the same way every time, too. They're yeah. just playing on the one side Indeed. of the top floor and getting their kills and then pulling back and getting more kills and pulling back. I, I wonder what Helby is thinking right now. Of course, if, for people that don't know, Helby is uh, he's, the he's, coach. He's packing his desk. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, secretly he's holding down with his... Uh, SMG 11 is a Lems, finally an entry frag the way of Team Secret. And the second one, beautiful reflexes on a Lems. He'll take down Secretly and my god, what a Much better play. this time. The Maestro in the smoke. Like, hell, if he even got the Echo there, that would have been like all three that you need. And there you go, he'll find one more lackey. The 762 will take down Crips. And man, you're going to need a lot of chips to be spammed here for Crips. There's... Red Groove still alive, and I'm not sure if he could find this groove in this 1v5. Well, he can't. Leon is ready, and Daz on his grave as Buck will save the day, and not even requiring any effort from Secret. Wow, what? That that what? round pretty much was like a big, fat, underlined highlight stop. bold for what I was saying. Yeah, the stop. previous rounds. What? Just stop. Yeah. Like, it's done. Yeah, just... <laughs> it got surprised. Just, <laughs> what? What? No. It was just... They stopped going to the, the, the admin site. Just... Go to the other side. You don't have to all go there, but it seemed to work just fine. It was like they took yellow stairs, which was like, okay, hey, yellow stairs is working against us. The uh, other side of the long desk working against us. Hey, I don't know. Let's just go behind where they are and kill them all. It absolutely worked. That's I, all they had to do was just. I, I'm no dictionary man, but I think that it's called a flank. I believe so. Although, is it is it? A flank if it's like everyone on your team at that point it's like all all chaos have to do is just turn around but it just seemed just like they were low. yeah they were not able to land the shots but really the, the, the point being secret finally adapted to what chaos were doing and it worked gangbusters because chaos almost seemed like they'd gotten complacent in it at that point where they were like secret aren't changing what they're doing lol <laughs> And then they finally did, and it worked absolutely well. Now, this round might be a little bit different, but it's the same bomb site they just attacked, which is Lobby, so. They're running uh, the very same operators, though. That is very much a thing to highlight for Chaos. And they are at an advantage. This is the very last round in uh, this first half, of course. The big change from the previous season until this one is, um, you know, instead of playing five rounds a half, you play six, and just have the intended uh, Effect so far of minimizing the amount of ties, which is great. Yeah. Though we have a tie each. Uh -huh. yeah. Does that make us tied for ties? Got him. I... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I missed you, Devin. Yeah. Wait. I mean, last time we casted, this is the first time in a couple months, right? So. Yeah. You know, I, I was I was not sure if I'm gonna like it back with you, but we should have just casted each other's Christmas present opening over the holidays. I didn't get anything. Yeah. Well, then you got exactly what you deserve. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That would have been Cole. <laughs> oh no! Speaking of Cole, that uh. bro, Leon is usually so good at. Uh, well, either way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't take anyone out secretly. Just getting to hold his position. That's not a good start to this attack because the yellow stairs was so essential in this attack last time. Secretly being allowed to live here definitely going to be a problem for them. And they're not even running a Jaeger or anything that would kind of help stop grenade kills. So, no Capito or anything as well to trap him. Here's the thing. Look at where 
the the smoke is holding down. Yeah. All the way down at the bottom of the yellow stair. It's a different spot, and that's why Leon wasn't able to get him. Yeah, because th you can't bounce through it. There's still one in the bathroom, and... Oh, just right comes through. in manually. Yeah, it's pretty odd, actually. Just Did he just drop from the skylight and nobody really contested him? He might have gone, yeah, for the skylight drop. Weird. Either way, though, they have control now, and that is exactly what they needed. I mean, the smoke is kind of pushed away now. The side of the wall is not reinforced. He's just going to walk in and have control. Smoke's going to get used in as everybody from Team Secret is just going to move in, and it looks like... The, hey, let's not go through admin strategy is actually working out pretty well. Weird, right? It's like we've watched a few of these matches happen. Either way, though, it's good to see that they are able to adapt, and it seems to be working. They only have killed one member, though, of Chaos, and they still have a minute left. But they have top floor controls, which is exactly what you need to start things out. Two smoke canisters have been burned as well. Secretly, he's been pushed back off the stairs where he wanted to play. So now they just need to drone properly, as you see me be doing, and then execute on that. We'll see how many Yokai drones are left as well as Vitalin switches to at least one of them. So he's got some intel on the positions here, can see the hatch to know how to play it. So they're not in the, the worst position. They've just got to burn time at this point to force Secret's hand. Crips will move in as the uh, Yokai drones are providing Overwatch right now. Secretly, we'll get one on Meepy, which is pretty great here. It's able to rotate back up and retake the yellow stairs. Leon, unfortunately, will have to deal with the hole that he's opened up himself, and he finds the hatch shot. Secretly, will go down. 25 seconds left as Crips will find the headshot. Leon refragged almost instantly. I have to walk in right through the, the main entrance. Renouz will find one. Crips with a second, and the Lems is the only one alive. 10 seconds on the clock, and Chaos, what do they do? They just sit back and relax. Wait until Lems moves in. He has to make the move here, and Crips will just go strafe his way through the lobby and find the head of Lems. Beautiful bit of play here from Chaos, and it's just shutting down Team Secret before they can gather momentum after yeah. a beautiful round from the mixed UK slash French team in the previous round. Well, they did such a good job taking the top floor, but they just, even with a minute left, still couldn't figure out how to attack downstairs. I don't know. I mean, I, I definitely worry about their attack strategies overall. It definitely seems like that is a huge area they need to work on in terms of having some flexibility on attack. Because attack isn't something you can just be like, oh, we're just going to do this take, and we're just going to do it like this and this and this. Yeah, you can plan like that, but that doesn't usually work, especially if the team's going to play a different defense than you expect. You need to adapt to them, whereas defense, you can kind of decide how you want to play it and force them to come to you. To That's exactly what they did again. They said, okay, you can control this top floor, fine, all right. But the important thing is they got away with at least four of the members still left alive. The fact that the smoke secretly was playing down at the bottom of yellow helped keep him alive and then still turned into a kill later in the round for him. Just uh, chaos seemed to be so much more in control of what they're doing. Not just that, yeah. winning gunfights. Yeah, that certainly helps. Every well. single time. Yeah. It, it doesn't help if you're already being out strategized, but then losing gunfights is just icing on the cake really for your opponents. I feel like things, again, might turn around here, though, for Secret, assuming they're not too demoralized from the 5-1 we're seeing. Could see them come back. They are in a position now where they can exercise more control if they're able to do so. They just have to contain Chaos's entries and determine early on. So the thing is, you need to know, are they coming in the admin side or are they coming in the other side? And you need to have a plan of how you rotate that, right? It almost reminds me of like old school bar defense on Clubhouse, right? You go, are they coming stock or are they coming strip club? Like, And then just adapt accordingly. On this bomb site, in this case, for example, you see, oh, they're pushing from the side that uh, Secret were having trouble pushing for a while. So you just adjust to that attack accordingly. It's interesting that they are going to take from the bottom up, potentially, of the yellow stairs as they're droning down here into the garage first. Secretly really going to be doing what Leon was trying to do. The old grenade throws in, trying to try and clear ADSs first with the flashes. Do exactly that, clear the yellow stairs. Leon takes half his health of damage. This is kind of textbook execution here. But now, this is where Secret know how the attack's coming in. This is where they need to adjust. If they are slow on adjusting right here, they could lose this round. And, of course, the, uh, the lesion being brought down low on health before much... Oh! That's the lowest you get on health. That on is, Leon, of all people, too, are appropriate. Yeah, that is beautiful. These are now um, only three, I believe, four goo mines that should have been set up. At least four that, are, that were available. Maybe only three that have been used. Meepy will take up the mantle of his fallen comrade here, Leon, as, you know, basically one dies to pick up the rifle and just keep shooting. That's right. Keep the march going. But that is definitely, again, an advantage for Chaos. Now they have the ability to kind of slow down and drone a little bit, take their time and figure out how the, the defense has shifted since they're droning earlier. 
make the adjustments necessary and start to push them out. Secretly actually going to be doing a good job of moving them around a little bit by bucking up the floor. That's going to force them to have to play differently around that reinforced wall. Now Renewals diving in through the window as he does have Vitaline to help him on the opposite end. And they fire right in the mirror. will go down. Watching for the Jaeger, but no, Lackey's ready, and no, no, the finisher on the Mira. Crips will find one, but can the Buck come in for the kill? Two Gumas in the foot of the player here as... What, what, what is the Mira? You what? heard them coming, and he even shot behind you. Meepy. Lackey. What? It's sleepy Meepy at this point. Lackey will find the three kills so far in the round. You can see... You can, what, Red Groove! You can see the, the, the hollow! I uh, no, no, I no. Stop right there. Stop. Stop. Hit the stop button. Red Groove. As an optometrist, I recommend that you go and check your eyes out at another. Do we have an ear doctor for Meepy? <laughs> I mean, maybe not for Meepy because UK and NHS and Brexit and all of that. But uh, man, Sorry. for Swedes, oh yeah. man, that was very odd. Yeah. Either way, though, secretly did man or not secretly secret. Did manage to come back. Yeah, it's weird that they're secret and then secretly on the other team. <laughs> well, that's but there was a Snook and Nose, and Snook was on the other team too. So <laughs> they are just they're trying to keep it. The you know it's like a it's a moving joke target. Yeah, that's exactly what's going. That's that's it. They they literally only accepted an offer from Team Secret for that reason. Yeah, it was it was not a great. Uh, let's just say it wasn't a secret that was Attackers very well need kept. To locate and defuse yeah. bombs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, so secret though, Attackers not on match point yet, but still one round away from match point. This is where they have to go back. That was not the best round for them, but it wasn't the best round for Chaos either. So hopefully that gave kind of the secret the momentum shift they needed. There's no technical timeouts able to be called in online play. So they kind of have to do the resetting on their own. Obviously, the coach can kind of talk to them and kind of listen in a little bit differently because you, you can't really enforce coach Ten not listening remaining. in the same way or not talking the same way as you can uh, doing the other thing. So hopefully, Helby was like, all right, guys, you can do this now. You know, cheer them on. He, he just would a say bit. it with a very French-Canadian accent. Yeah, that's why I didn't try and do an impression. It would have sounded terrible. I'm just like, I've got marbles in my mouth. Well, we'll see the, how things go this round, but it is interesting to see that uh, they are going to bring a Thermite for their attacks, something that we didn't see come out so much from Secret. They were a little bit more reliant on the flexible bringing of Habana. See if Vitalin can do some more with that. And we haven't seen a ton come out from Vitalin, but he also hasn't been failing you know, too much at his job either. He's kind of one of those new guys kind of, uh, you know, getting warmed up a little bit, but, you know, with two days in a row of play, this is going to be kind of his uh, warm-up day, and then tomorrow I expect bigger things from him. Or wind in their hair. Sweet smell of eucalyptus rising up in the air, right? Watch, he's bald. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Up ahead in the distance, I, w I saw a shimmering light. You know the song, right? I referenced it in the previous match, and somebody actually got it for once, which is great. It's Hotel California. Well, now you have Eagles. to give them, like, an alpha pack or something. for. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> that what? I'll check the rules. Hold on. <laughs> Can we get an admin in here? <laughs> <laughs> we need a ruling stat. All right, well, Red Groove's right on the outside of the balcony, watching through in the building. There's nothing really set up. Leon just finds a kill randomly here on Secretly. There's a pretty good elimination on the buck, which is extremely important, I would have thought, for this sort of attack. They're giving up the top floor a lot easier than Chaos did. Oh, oh as I say that, Leon comes on, and uh, not so much then. Yeah, that was, that was beautiful there. You lose the Capitao and the buck. Just both technical operators are out of play here for Chaos. Yeah. That is definitely going to make the actual plant uh, set up here much, much harder. They have the walls open, though. That's Vidalin definitely, like I said, doing his job. And uh, that's definitely going to help if they can get to that position. Minute 13 left, that's enough time. You know it's not a great time where both the Ash and the Zofia will have to use their reaching ability to just destroy floorboards so they can like, yeah. you know, do stuff against their opponents downstairs. And Lifeline being shot in, I believe that was picked up by a Jaeger ADS. Renewal is very low on health. Flash is going to get thrown in here from Vitaline Crips with a fight and we'll win it out. The Lems will go down, but it's only the start. Look at how low they are, and Leon will drop in. He'll find one, but Crips is ready. They'll take down Leon Gids. 3v2 is. Well, now 3v1. Vitaline's on the floor and will get spotted. Should get taken down in just a second here. Crips coming in from the back, but man, this uh, whole tortilla factory that's acquired for him. For this uh, sort of play, he's going to have to destroy the barbed wire with a breaching round and then try to move in. 
In the meantime, Lackey has set himself up right by, right by the reinforced wall. He'll turn around, but still get flashed. The second flash will come in, avoid it himself here. Crips will win out the gunfight. Still one right behind the wall, but unsure of his position. Low time, and Stizzy will come in and finish things off with a shotgun. Well played and well timed for Team Secret here. Leon definitely did a lot of work that round with the 3K that he got. I mean, it's not a surprise for Maestro, but he was definitely doing a good job playing. He did get traded at one point, and that was good on Chaos to actually be in a position to trade it, but still, it was a tough spot to be in. I mean, they had, unfortunately, Vidalin in a setup where he, he did his job, and he did it early, which was great. Unfortunately, I don't know if he had the frag power to really follow that up. He was sitting there waiting in position to go for his uh, plant at some point. Still managed to get tagged down trying to help put pressure on. And because of that, it really didn't matter too much what Crips did at that point. It's just he was going to have trouble really sticking that round out. And the slow crawl comeback here coming from Secret. Somewhat expected. They are going to trade up the Mira for the Echo. So a little bit different Alternative way of having that extra visibility. Now, of course, this is their third bomb Attack site as uh, they won the first two defenses in a row. They could have gone to that uh, Visa archive site that we saw earlier. But Crips and Leon, between the two of them, definitely doing a lot of work for the team. Lackey and secretly, though, kind of pulling up the close second place, mm -hmm. just in terms of kills, at least. Damn, Leon is really putting work here. Yeah, he's trying to make up for some struggles on the attack side as well. Four ACOGs on Team Secret. Yeah, no, that's I, it worked out very well for Chaos as mm -hmm. well, having a lot of those long angles to be able to fight upstairs. We'll see if the, if Secret sticks upstairs a little bit more this time because they're defending Lobby. They do need to defend it a little more heavily than when they were playing down a garage. Leon was playing it a lot more flexibly, though. He was kind of playing up and down the yellow stairs, able to kind of rotate in as well uh, as needed into the different rooms. But in this case, going for even a spawn beam with the Alda. I mean, I guess that gives you an extra chance to just follow that up and hope you can get maybe a two for one. He's also got Lackey potentially spawn peeking as well on that dock. Hard to say, can't, as, uh, obviously we can't see his angle at the same time, but this is a good way to kind of put some hurt on the team that thinks they're ahead. Maybe kind of cause them to choke a little. We'll see all chaos here right by the entryway into Yellow Stairs. It'll continue to drone in just in case there's anybody downstairs. Chaos themselves are well known to you know, uh, run an alibi or at least some player downstairs. Now with the Pulse not being available in here, and I have, really have to highlight this, Pulse is definitely an operator that you would have playing in the garage, playing in the servers on his own, sometimes with some support, at least from a yokai drone to help him out uh, yeah. in a situation like this. So with him not being available, it really cuts down on the amount of roaming that you can do downstairs just because you're not as safe as you would like. Yeah. Well, either way, though, uh, speaking of safe, secretly actually manages to get the kill onto Leon, which is a big coup in trying to get this floor control up the yellow stairs. It's very odd that there was no Yokai drone here to support, and Crips is fighting in the 1v1. Stizzy's taking quite a bit of damage and will go down. Wow, that is. Why is the, why is the echo here? This is, yeah, this is an interesting La series of plays. So Lackey far. was supposed to support him down here, but they seem to have split up and. Gecko just went in for the fight. It, it very much is confusing. Yeah, they're trying to take way too many fights here just because they have ACOGs. The attackers bomb Seems to be very much backfiring against them because, like you said earlier, Chaos winning a lot of their gunfights. Oh, well, Lackey will move up and will get spotted by Renewals and the drones, and they know that there's a player they'll have to deal with, the Doc in this case. And was flicking through those cameras. Is, to highlight, it's very important to have support players on the squad, not just in what operators to play, but just someone to watch cameras. And that's a very important part of a game that is as dynamic and punishing as the Rainbow Six Siege. And Vitaline will go down. Grenade will get thrown right in the middle of the room and won't really do much damage. Whereas the Doc will fall back. 4v3 advantage for Chaos. As Lackey's still playing the same position. Alems just chilling, I guess, in the hallway. It does make me wonder why they had Vitaline on uh, Thermite, despite the fact that Garage had already been won. Now Crips spraying all the way down, and he does find it. Lems will go down. 38 seconds left with two players alive. Meepy still has some utility to play with here. Lackey from behind, but he gets the kill. So secretly will go down. Second to last remote gas canister will get used. Now both players are next to one another. Is there enough time to boost Meepy up to, ha to max health? No, Renewals is just going to end him right then and there. Lackey coming in from the back of the hallway. He'll threat Needle will find one kill. That's the headshot on Renewals. 2v1, and there's Crips and Redgroove. To go for the reload here is Red Groove Ten just go. watching. He has his Capitao and the crossbow bolts that can be used. This fire coming in from Lackey and can't really find the angle on the Capitao just yet. There we go. He's in the back. He's in the bathroom and has a reinforced wall that it can be used to his advantage. Unfortunately, the defense is the Sim City set up by the defense. 
He's not really gonna aid him. There you go, Docs on the floor, finished off. Red Groove will make it happen, and Chaos will set a sixth round on the board, one away from victory. Well, definitely looked like a good position for Chaos despite the comeback start from Secret. They just took way too many 1v1 fights that were not favorable to them. Yeah, they had all the ACOGs, but they were also all the slow operators against all the fast attackers, and that absolutely seemed to work out in the favor of, especially you saw when it was Crips versus the Echo downstairs. Just a lot more mobility and able to take advantage of that to win those gunfights. Slowly just took them down one at a time on the, both the top and the bottom floor nearly at the same time. So being separated definitely not work out in Secret's favor. They really need to be better set up for those trades and not... And they were... Well, but it was one the echo, Yeah, the Echo and the Doc yeah. were together, and then the Echo just fought in yeah. the garage. Why, Why not? Yeah. He really he really wanted to defend that car. He's like, I just got this thing. I just got it waxed. Bomb. I don't want Crips to have it. Yeah, I say that about my white fan as well. Good for you. I actually don't even have a driver's license. I have uh -oh. 25. I turned 25. Well, that's 25. why it's parked in the garage. I turned 25 10 days ago, and I still do not have my driver's license. Wow. That's shameful. I got a nice birthday cake, but then I had to turn it down because it doesn't have enough protein in it. Yeah, I, okay, you know this thing? You guys can't see the face I'm making yeah, right now, but it is. Yeah, just a bit of a tangent. So my biggest wish is that on my birthday, instead of getting a cake, which actually last year and this year were the first two times Attackers in like seven years I ever get one. Attackers but, moving out to locate a no, bomb thank you, Mom. Um, I would love to have a birthday cake that is just chicken wings, chicken wings. And then each wing has one, uh, how do you say, one candle on it. That's the dream. I hope that gets mailed to you now. <laughs> I don't I want anyone to, to mail that. No, no, I want to see this mailed. I want to see this come in a package. <laughs> All right, there you go. That that is that's you know the, the it appeals to the male fantasy. Well, the last round potentially here. At least Leon trying to fight it off. Uh, Crips sticking down. It's just pretty good start here for Secret, as you mentioned. Um, you know, Crips has had a decent chunk of work done on the squad, and this is a bit of a problem here. Using the crossbow bolts without really any follow up is not great. But speaking of follow up, Secret will at least land the kill and kill the Legion yet again. And only two goo mines have been dispatched at this point in time, so that's a great one. I would trade an Ash for a Legion any day of the week. An attempt at damage coming out there from the grenade didn't quite land, though. So that is going to make the Yellow Stairs still in control of Secret. Secretly should be coming up here to the bathroom and just trying to fight from the window. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. A lot of times the, the Thermite will actually put himself in that position, but now there's Lackey and Meepy that have taken up the mantle in this position. So. No shortage of firepower for Team Secret in and around the Yellow Stairs. Yeah, last time I had to worry about coming in from behind when they were holding the Yellow Stairs from the bathroom, Attack but that flank is definitely going to help. Yeah, no frag grenades as well for the Bucky Secretly, so you cannot bounce any grenades into the mirror or into the Jaeger on the side. I'm not sure if there's any ADSs that are set up close to hell. Good job droning that, though, so he didn't get surprised by me be sitting in the back of the bathroom, but he's just going to stick his position. Does make a lot of sense, and there's... Um, Bit of a trial here from Red Group to move in. Reynolds will spray all the way down to the bathroom, but Meepy is just right at the perfect angle to not get hit by the Sophia. Of course, the 762 rounds will easily punch through those, um, you know, the, the, the plaster that's been put up all around. This is looking pretty good for Secret. They have a they have a lot of map control still, and time is just ticking away. Secretly, is the only one in really doing anything. Yeah, there's much, not much time really left as finally the uh, evil cams are being chipped away, but it's just taking so much time. Renewals barely has enough ammo left in his magazines, and it's really starting to weigh heavily at the 30-second mark. Exactly, the smoke will start using his canisters. Meepy will spray in and find Vitaline. Renewals is forced to run in and actually inhale a decent chunk of all the gases here. Lems will take down secretly. It's a 2v4. Heavy advantage for Team Secret. Lems will find one. Renewals on the Zofia. Last man alive. Enough for long. Meepy will take him out. And he wins these. Round number 10 will go the way of Team Secret as... Now, this is starting to get a bit too close for comfort if you're Chaos. It very much looks like both teams are extremely comfortable on that defensive side. Yeah, it's, it's definitely seeming like that is the area where they're able to actually, like I said earlier, exert a lot of control. And it seems like both teams are good at exploiting the weaknesses in the attacks. 
In that case, it was actually mostly just Secret holding their position that really paid off. Once they had that, that crossfire kind of set up in the bathroom, you just saw them just totally stall out on being able to attack from there because, yeah, you know exactly where they're at, but like you said, no frag grenades. You can drone it. Sure, you could find out they're there, but you can't do much about it. They could have potentially done a little bit of work with Capitel, but they were saving Red Groove's Capitel bolts to be able to actually try and make the push themselves. It's just... It's just lack of utility at that point. They can't do a whole lot. And like you said, even running low on ammo. Yeah. Just because burning yeah, resources, burning resources, and burning resources, and not turning any of those into kills becomes very problematic as the clock ticks down. Still, that wasn't a terrible round for Chaos. They just couldn't really get enough leverage to take some map control. But they are getting close to what could be our first tie, potentially. Yeah. Uh, we're very much would be close. That's for sure. Either way, though, console uh, worked out pretty well for them both times. Lobby is the only site they've lost on so far. They won Garage last time. So this is looking decent for Secret, assuming they can do the same thing again. Now, last time Vidalin got those garage doors open pretty early with Thermite. It's just they weren't able to capitalize on it from there. Part of that was due to the way that they were punishing anyone trying to take that top floor control. If they could continue to do the same thing again, that could definitely work out. But we also have not seen Chaos ever even go for the admin pushes. They're definitely focused on taking the uh, yellow stair site. In stark contrast to what Team Secret were actually trying out yeah. early on. And it's working out mostly better for Chaos, but at the same time, like, it, Secret seems to be predicting it. Like I've said before, people tend to do what they, you know, they'll tend to attack what they would defend, and they tend to defend against what they would attack. Kind of giving away the fact that they constantly, you know, were defending the side that uh, they weren't expecting or hoping that Secret didn't attack from means they're probably going to attack from that side. So, obviously oh. Secret read into that to an extent. Mind equals blown. It's crazy. It's a crazy world we live in. Blow my mind every day, I'm sorry. It's just, I just hear the breeze. On through. Well, they are doing a little bit more careful droning this time, though, to be a little more sure when they go in that they don't get caught off guard by people like Leon. They have been able to pick him off somewhat early a couple times now, and I think that's really benefited them. That was more often, though, when he was on Legion. So him being back on Maestro again makes me think he'll probably live a little bit longer. Maybe he's going to be the one on Legion this time. My secretly continuing to drone top floor as they realize there is somebody hiding up there for him, and Leon is very much ready to uh, shoot anybody in the face here. If they Okay, nice, uh, nice kill there on the drone. Denying information as Leon will fall back down, of course has the service stairs to move down. So, multiple choices here for him. But this time, secretly, he's not dead. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> As you say that. Caster's curse, a Lems will peek right in and find the kill on secretly. The buck, the instant he felt comfortable to use the skeleton key, is the moment he'll get shot down, a Lems will linger and lurk in piano. There's windows behind him as well, so he's got to be very careful. Now, that's the body of your teammate, Renault. There we go, he sprays right in. Just a lot of damage, but enough to finish off a lens. Now, the wall's already been open, which is great. Vitalian definitely doing, uh, well, fulfilling that support role oh. correctly. And, well, the lifeline already been used, so... Yep. Good luck dealing with that, but hey, it doesn't matter. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna be able to set it here. Yep. Just barely, though. Oh, there you go. Nope. Defend oh, no, it no, they have it. Okay, good. They have it. 3v3. There's, there's the Maestro, so that's your big advantage here in this one, but... You know, Zofia at range, there's still one lifeline available. There's still attack crossbows to use, but Leon will win the fight somehow and dive on out and then die instantly the Crips. And the second one could will fight him instantly to the head of Wacky. And the attacking side of Chaos will take it. There we go, they dive right on out. And he finds the second. Oh man, skeet shooting. That was Beautiful. I'm sorry, Secret, but that was not the play. You got the one, you could take it. Vitalin wasn't going to be able to do a ton from his side if you could just distract him while he defused, but did not happen, and chaos. I'm getting a call right now. That was not it, Chief. No, I believe it was not. Chief's calling. <laughs> this is this is actually very odd. Crips at 16 kills there, but Vitalin with only two, it's not really a problem. He was doing his support role perfectly, and yeah. this is something we don't really get to highlight as often as we would like to.